In today's video, we're going to take a look at the top 10 NHL teams that have gone the longest without winning an NHL playoff series. We're also going to discuss if any of them will put these streaks to an end this year. And that's coming up next. Hey everyone and welcome back to another video here at Top Shelf Hockey. If you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by. We review and discuss all 31 NHL teams. So if you're a huge hockey fan, consider subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. So as the NHL training camps and preseason gets underway for the upcoming 18-19 season, I thought it'd be fun to take a look at some of the more longest active streaks here going on in the NHL and if any of these streaks might be broken this coming year. Today we're going to kick off this new series with taking a look at the 10 teams that have gone the longest without winning a playoff series. In 10th place we have a three-way tie, so essentially these three teams are number 10, number 9, and number 8, all going six years without winning a playoff series, and that's the Arizona Coyotes, the New Jersey Devils, as well as the Philadelphia Flyers. All three of these teams last won an NHL playoff series during the 11-12 season. Obviously the Arizona Coyotes have not made the playoffs since that time. The New Jersey Devils and the Philadelphia Flyers have, but they almost ended up with a first round loss. All three of these teams showed a lot of improvement last year. The Coyotes fell well short of the playoffs, but had a terrific second half and looked like they might be poised to make significant improvements this year and at least get back into the race for the playoffs. Uh, the Devils and the Flyers uh, both made the playoffs last year, showed a lot of improvement as well. And a lot of people, myself included, seem to think they'll be in the mix again for the playoffs in the 18-19 season. So could any of these three teams put these playoff series win droughts to an end this year? In 7th place, we have the Vancouver Canucks, who have gone 7 years without a playoff victory. Now, during that 7-year span, they have made the playoffs on 3 different occasions, but unfortunately, they came up short and lost in the first round each time. At this point in time, it does seem inevitable that the Vancouver Canucks playoff series win drought will carry on for some time yet, as they're currently going through a rebuild and really molding their young stars for the future to take over this club. The Vancouver Canucks do look like they do have the potential to be a really strong powerhouse team in a few years' time here once a lot of their younger NHL players become more bona fide superstars as they're expected to be. I mean, you have guys like Bo Horvat, Elias Pettersson, Quinn Hughes, Thatcher Demko. There's a lot of young players in this organization which really gives them a lot of hope for the future. But for right now, it does look as though this streak will carry on for a few more years. Next up at number six, we have the Carolina Hurricanes who have gone nine years without a playoff victory. So that puts them back in the 2008-2009 season. Really ever since they had their Stanley Cup championship, there really hasn't been a whole lot of success and a whole lot of playoff action down in Carolina. I think we can certainly question whether or not this streak continues this year. This Carolina Hurricanes team has gone through a lot of changes here in the past season. They've had a change in ownership. They've had a change in general manager as well as head coach. Uh, we've seen some turnover on the player roster as well. They're going to have some new goaltending this year. They traded away their top scorer, Jeff Skinner, during the offseason. Uh, you know, they do have some young, exciting players like Andre Sveshnikov and Martin Nikash, just to name a few. Uh, they do have a pretty good-looking decor in the back end as well. So could this be the year the Hurricanes maybe end this streak? Personally, I think it's likely going to drag on a little bit longer. The Hurricanes are making some strides here in the right direction. But in my opinion, some of their offseason moves are questionable this year. And I'm not quite sure they're ready to take that leap forward into the playoffs in 2018. In fifth place, we have the Colorado Avalanche, who have gone 10 years without a playoff series victory. Obviously, the Colorado Avalanche won the Stanley Cup in their first season in Colorado after relocating from Quebec City. Uh, they had a lot of success early on, but in more recent years, there have been a lot of tough times. Obviously, two seasons back, the Colorado Avalanche were at the bottom of the NHL, and they certainly rebounded and resurrected things last year, really coming back strong and having a much better season. Their year-over-year -year improvement was absolutely astronomical, and could they continue that into the playoffs this year? I certainly do think it's quite a possibility. We just completed an NHL season preview here for the Avalanche that was posted earlier today, and I do think the Colorado Avalanche more than likely will be a playoff team this year. But will they be strong enough to end this streak and get an NHL playoff series victory under their belts? Let me know what you think down in the comments. I do think it's possible, but I also could see it going the other way and the streak dragging on a little bit longer. In fourth place, we have the Buffalo Sabres, who have gone 11 years without winning a playoff series. That puts them back in 2007. Now, the Buffalo Sabres, since that time, have really had a lot of tough times finishing near the bottom of the league many, many times, having some high draft picks. Seems like this team has been rebuilding forever. Although, I do think after a really strong 2018 NHL offseason here that they're really ready to take a step forward and make some significant improvements this year. They were fortunate enough to grab the first overall pick in the 2018 draft, grabbing generational-type talent like Rasmus Dahlin. 
They made some big trades this year as well, trading out Ryan O'Reilly, getting a pretty good haul of players back from the St. Louis Blues, including Saboka, Berglund, as well as Tage Thompson. They brought in Connor Sheary from Pittsburgh. They picked up Jeff Skinner from the Hurricanes, who we just talked about as well. This team has really made a lot of strides in the right direction, in my opinion. They certainly will move up in the standings. I think that's pretty much a given. But how high can they go? Can this be the year that the Sabres finally get back to the playoffs and cut that 11-year streak to an end? I'm not really so sure. I think it's going to be close. I think they will be fighting for a playoff spot as we approach the end of the year. But I think it is also quite possible this streak continues for at least one more season. Next up in third place, we have the Toronto Maple Leafs. Now, the Leafs haven't won a playoff series in 13 years. Now, during that time, they have made the playoffs here on a few occasions, but they've had all first-round losses. In my opinion, the Toronto Maple Leafs probably do have the best chance at putting this streak to an end more so than just about any other team on this list this year. Obviously, another team has gone through a lot of change, not just this year, but in the last two or three years, adding a lot of young talent. And then, of course, this offseason, adding John Tavares to the mix here. So the Toronto Maple Leafs are becoming a very strong team. They're certainly in the mix to be considered a Stanley Cup contender. So I do think this year it is very likely that they do finally get past the first round of the NHL playoffs and make some progress forward and cut this 13-year playoff losing streak to an end. Next up at number two, we have the Columbus Blue Jackets, who have gone 17 years or their entire franchise existence without winning a playoff series. The Blue Jackets are the only NHL franchise right now that have never won a playoff series. This is something that has to come to an end soon for this team to take a step forward here and move in the right direction. Columbus has made the playoffs on a number of occasions, but have yet to finally get that first playoff series win under the team's history. This past playoff series, they started off against the Washington Capitals, and they got off to a great start, winning the first two games, both coming in overtime in dramatic fashion. They looked like they were off to a great start, but unfortunately, the Capitals then took over, beat them out, and went on to win the Stanley Cup. So obviously, in my prediction series I completed earlier for the standings, I do have the Jackets likely being a playoff team, but I do think they're going to be in another dogfight here, possibly could end up as a wildcard team, which is going to give them a really tough opponent in the first round. So could this be the year the Jackets finally get that first playoff series win? It certainly could be, but I wouldn't be again. Would not be surprised if it carried forward. So I'd love to hear your comments down below. Could this be the year the Blue Jackets finally win their first playoff series in team history? At number one, we've got the Florida Panthers, who have gone a long stretch of 21 long years here without winning an NHL playoff series. The last time they won an NHL playoff series is back in 1996, which was the Eastern Conference Final against the Pittsburgh Penguins. After winning that Eastern Conference Final against the Penguins, of course, they went on to play for the Stanley Cup in the finals here. They met the Colorado Avalanche, but the Avalanche ended up winning that Stanley Cup. Now, at this point in time, that was quite an accomplishment for the Panthers to go that far in the playoffs because they were only in their third NHL season. There was a lot of hope and optimism that the Panthers were really going in the right direction there, but really, ever since then, they have had some success, but really not a whole heck of a lot in terms of playoff wins. At that point in NHL history, they were the second fastest team to reach the NHL Finals in their existence, with the St. Louis Blues being in first place, making it in their first season. But of course, during that era of expansion, the way the NHL arranged all the new teams, they were all in the same conference, so it was set up that one of them would make the finals. So it was a little different time back then, a different setup, but the Panthers still had an amazing early success here as a new franchise. Obviously, we saw the Vegas Gold Knights this past year go to the finals in their first season as well, tying the record by the, with the St. Louis Blues. So right now, the Panthers are the third fastest team to make it to the NHL Finals. But obviously, the Panthers are another team that are kind of on the bubble. They barely missed out of the playoffs last year. But even if they would have made it, would they have been able to get a series victory under their belt? Certainly wouldn't have been no easy task, that's for sure. They would have been going in as a lower seed. And I think this year, their odds of making the playoffs again are really good. But I think, again, that they will probably be a lower seed if they are able to make that happen. Personally, I'd love to see an all-Florida playoff matchup with the Tampa Bay Lightning going against the Florida Panthers. As long as both teams have been there, this is yet to happen, and I think it'd be great entertainment and really help build that rivalry a little bit further. Um, so could this be the year the Florida Panthers get back to the playoffs and end their long drought here of 21 years of not having a playoff series win? I'd love to hear your comments down below. Let me know which team do you think is the most likely to end the drought in the 18-19 season. If you're new to the channel here, I hope you consider subscribing. We cover all 31 NHL teams, and there is plenty of content here for all hockey fans to enjoy. So if you're new, hit that subscribe button. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button as well. I'd appreciate it if you did. As always, thank you very much for watching, everybody. We will catch you next time.